Hello and welcome back to the StockNado channel, where we talk about all things crypto. If you're looking for the latest news that moves the crypto markets, you've come to the right place. I'm here to help you navigate the stormy waters of the crypto market. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned investor, you will find something useful and interesting on this channel. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date on the top crypto content today. Let's get started. It does appear that we have had quite a bit of FUD circulating through the crypto market. I have been taking a break, so I did want to thank everybody who has stayed and supported this channel, has reached out and checked on how I was doing. I definitely appreciate you all. I was dealing with some personal issues that have been resolved since then, and I am very excited to get back to creating content for you all. We do have some mass FUD that has been circulating. As you may know, that the SEC did launch a lawsuit against Binance and Coinbase, accusing them of violating securities laws by offering unregistered tokens and derivatives to U.S. investors. The SEC also designated several altcoins as securities, including Matic, Solana, and Cardano, causing their prices to plummet. Very unfortunate to see. We do also know that Binance U.S. did announce they will be stopping uh, the support of USD deposits and withdrawals on their platform as its banking partners are preparing to cut ties with the exchange. The move sparked panic amongst Binance US users who rushed to withdraw their funds from the platform. Very unfortunate, but this has definitely caused widespread fear throughout the crypto market. Will this pose to be a buying opportunity? Time will definitely be the one to tell on this one. Looking at Bitcoin, it did bring Bitcoin's price down to the $25,476 range, which is pretty low, but up on the day. Very good to see. It is down on the week, however. I mean, this is basically the effect of the Binance rumors that have been circulating. Definitely excited to see what comes of this, though, because I do believe that these exchanges are ready to fight the SEC and we may actually see some clear, more clear regulation in the future. So definitely short term bearish for crypto, but long term, possibly bullish. Hopefully time will tell. Time will tell. We've had a lot of crypto news going on right now. We have had a bit of news from one today is that. BlackRock officially filed for a spot Bitcoin ETF. They have $10 trillion in assets under their management and apparently is super bullish for Bitcoin. So let me know in the comments below if you guys think that this is bullish for Bitcoin. CNBC did write an article today that wrote asset manager giant BlackRock took the first steps Thursday to launch a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund, which has been a which has long been a point of contention between crypto advocates and federal regulators. Absolutely massive, but not only that, in the outside of the US, Hong Kong did put pressure on three major banks to take on crypto exchanges as clients. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority put pressure on HSBC, Standard Charter, and Bank of China, according to Financial Times. On another note, we do know my favorite meme coin that is going to be Dogalon Mars has had a pretty epic proposal. The Dogalon DAO has a new proposal of the Rufus chain, which is absolutely massive. They are aiming to build a layer two blockchain for the Dogalon Mars token known as Rufus. This is a proposal that you can find over on Reddit. I mean, pretty cool stuff they have going on here. Very excited to see it. But if you don't know the benefits that could come of this, there are some major benefits one being that a meme coin making its own blockchain can improve scalability and reduce transaction costs for its users a layer 2 blockchain is a network that runs on top of another blockchain such as ethereum and uses various techniques to speed up transaction and lower fees another benefit of making its own layer 2 blockchain is that it can increase its utility and innovation potentially a layer 2 blockchain can enable new features and applications for a meme coin such as decentralized exchanges gaming platforms nft marketplaces and more this is pretty major Another benefit is that it can also enhance its community and brand recognition. A layer two blockchain can demonstrate the mean coins commitment to innovation and growth, as well as its ability to overcome technical challenges and compete with other projects. This can boost the mean coins reputation and credibility in the crypto space, as well as attract more attention and support from users, developers, influencers, and media 
outlets, this is going to be major. I definitely feel that this would be pretty major for Dog Along Mars. A layer two blockchain can also foster more engagement and participation from the meme coins community as they have more say in the network's governance and development through voting and staking mechanisms. Absolutely massive. Very excited to see it. Very happy to see that Dog Along Mars has been making great strides since I've been gone. I definitely appreciate all of you guys who have stayed in support of this channel. I'm definitely looking forward to making more content for each and every one of you guys. I thank each and every one of you and I will catch you in the next one.